fine, good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. Malawi has a new all-out tourism master plan. Malawi may become the tourism investment paradise in Africa. This was made clear after Malawi's president Dr. Lazarus Chakwira last week Monday unveiled a $660 million tourism investment master plan. This plan will help map up the infrastructure development for this Southeast African nation. Malawi has no history of political instability and has all the ingredients of a travel and tourism destination. Malawi, a landlocked country in southeastern Africa, is defined by its topography of highlands split by the Great Rift Valley and enormous Lake Malawi. The lake's southern end falls within Lake Malawi National Park, a UNESCO heritage site. Located at the southern end of the great expanse of Lake Malawi, with its deep clear waters and mountain backdrop, the national park is home to many hundreds of fish species, nearly all endemic. Its importance for the study of evolution is comparable to that of the finches of the Galapagos Islands. From colorful fish to baboons and its clean and clear waters are popular for diving and boating. Peninsular Cape Maclear is known for its beach resorts. The project under the plan will be implemented under a public-private partnership with the African Development Bank. Speaking during the launch, the Malawi president said tourism plays a great role in the economic development of his country. The tourism sector contributes to the growth of Malawi's economy and supports a vibrant complex value chain across numerous sectors including agriculture, trade, health, environment, and transport. It generates foreign direct investment and significant export earnings for our country. It also stimulates and supports the development of small businesses including shops, restaurants, travel agents, tour operators and guides, buses and taxis, and the local markets, he said. As a commitment to promoting foreign direct investment in the sector, my country also allows for 100% foreign ownership of companies. Foreign investors can invest in any sector of the economy and can wholly remit their profits, dividends, and capital. Thus foreign investors can disinvest 100% from Malawi whenever they desire. Malawi offers free import duty, free import excise, and VAT-free importation on selected goods such as furniture and furnishings, catering equipment, and off-road game vehicles. Malawi's tourist industry is vital to the overall economy of the country and supports huge numbers of local Malawian through employment and community projects, as well as helping conserve the country's natural resources. The Malawi Growth and Development Strategy MGDS3 recognizes tourism as one of the priority sectors for stimulating the country's economic growth. Malawi Minister of Tourism Michael Yusi added that his ministry will work hard to implement the plan. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etrobonews.com or travelnews.online.